Fortnite's new update is fully revealed with Doctor Doom's live event, new mythic weapons, Fortnite Mares leaks, new collaborations, and much more that we will be showcasing in today's video. And if you guys want to be gifted any of the new skins dropping into the shop like the Incredibles, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. So the main part of Fortnite's upcoming 31.30 update is, of course, the arrival of Doctor Doom himself. You guys can obviously see over at Doom's castle, if you go to fight the boss, it's actually Doombot and not Dr. Doom himself. And that is because in this new update, his actual version of himself with his complete upgraded armor will finally be arriving and replacing the Doombot as the new boss at Doom's castle. But the best part is data miners found that Dr. Doom's arrival is actually going to be a part of a new mini live event that's currently codenamed Deckbed in the Files. And it's already been confirmed that this mini live event will have an official countdown timer in game that's probably going to be located somewhere over here at the castle point of interest. And we also now know that this event will also include earthquakes with ground shaking and different parts of the map having huge cracks arise that data miners found in the files. And they also found that there will be mission and quest that you have to complete during this live event when Dr. Doom arrives. And that gets me really excited because obviously anytime there is quest during a live event that usually sets up a perfect opportunity for Fortnite to release free rewards a part of the event. So there is possibility that we get some free items out of this. And in case you guys didn't know, Fortnite's 31.30 update is dropping this upcoming Tuesday on October 1st. And the reason this is relevant is because October 1st is when the new October Crew Pass skin and rewards are also going to be getting released for all the Crew Pass members. And for the month of October, our new Crew Pass skin is known as Polis, which you guys can see is a pretty cool, unique looking skin. But after doing a little bit of research, it was found that Polis is a part of the Greek mythological times, and he's actually considered to be a titan, so that means that he is absolutely massive. And now that we know that Doctor Doom's arrival event will have earthquakes with big cracks forming all over Fortnite's island, I did have a theory that what if Polis is also going to be implemented into this upcoming event since he is a titan big enough to cause damage on Fortnite's island. Especially if you guys look at his hands and then look at the Pandora's Box live event that we had two seasons ago, there is theories that Polis was actually the titan being that was under Fortnite's island and his massive hand is the one that rose up and actually gave us Pandora's box. So if that is the case, we could see Polis rising from the ground again, also upon Doctor Doom's arrival, who is also said to be a very large being now that he's completed his Pandora's box armor and can harness its energy to its full capacity, which is pretty scary because he is going to be very, very difficult to take out. Of course, we did have other theories that actually connected to Doom's ominous castle here over at his point of interest, where it has now become very clear that this is actually going to be a summoning portal for him to summon Mephisto, but data miners already confirmed that the official Fortnite Mares update won't be until October 15th, so I do not think that this upcoming mini event will have anything to do with Mephisto getting spawned, but of course, you never really know. Just know that if the mini event is based on Mephisto, then the countdown timer will be located above this tower, and this area of the map is probably going to be getting some of the most map changes and cracks in the ground. Now, on top of Doctor Doom arriving with a mini live event, we we also have new collaborations getting added in this update that leakers found early. The first of which is a new Spider-Man Venom collaboration that data miners tweeted saying Rocket League is getting a Spider-Man vs Venom Halloween event soon and it could also impact Fortnite. In the last update we already found a new cosmetic for this indicating that we'll likely get even more cosmetics from this event. So we could be expecting a new version of the Venom skin getting released on top of some new vehicle decals and potentially a new vehicle overall since this collaboration collaboration is mainly going to be taking place in Rocket League, but as we know, a lot of the collabs between Rocket League and Fortnite usually cross over since Epic owns both. And this also makes a lot of sense considering there is a new Venom movie coming out later this year, so there is potential for this to be a large-scale collaboration where we actually even get new mythics and potentially a new Venom boss, which I think everyone would love. Also, make sure to add us on Snapchat for more giveaways, daily news, and special item shop gifting. Another collaboration found by data miners is between Fortnite Fortnite and Masters of the Universe, where they may be adding a new character known as Skeletor. But Wenzo, a very reliable leaker, tweeted saying Skeletor from Master of the Universe will be coming to Fortnite. This is from the same source that told me about many other collabs that have come to Fortnite, such as Future Trunks and My Hero Academia. They don't have any information on when he's releasing.
anything, but it is confirmed that this character will be getting added as a new skin. Now, of course, with the release date not being confirmed, there is also a chance that Skeletor is released in the next update, which is going to be the Fort Nightmares update, as his overall design and stuff definitely fits the Halloween vibe really, really well. Now, it was also confirmed by leakers that the Cluster Clinger grenades are also going to be getting unvaulted, which is a very random item for them to be adding in a Marvel-themed season. I think there is so many better items and weapons they could bring back, but we haven't seen this item in quite some time, so for all you Cluster Clinger fans out there, it will be back in the new update. Oh, are these guys fighting on the train? Oh my gosh, get me in on this. We're doing a drive-by. No, I want to fight. <laughs> I thought they were on the train. There we go. There's one. And there's two. That's how you third party right there, boys. Oh, there's another guy. There we go. Took every weapon in my arsenal, but we got him. And of course, it wouldn't be a new Fortnite update with all of the new skins and rewards that you guys are able to get, either for free or in Fortnite's item shop. And the first one we should be expecting is this new version of Peely that is a Deadpool hybrid that we actually saw revealed for the first time at the D23 livestream event. This was basically Epic's way of foreshadowing some of the skins we would be getting this season, and obviously it is still yet to be released, so we should be expecting it in this update since the following update will be fully Fort Nightmares based and it wouldn't make any sense for them to get released then. Another set of skins we should be expecting is Fantastic Four even though the characters are found as dead trophies around Fortnite's island after being taken out by Doctor Doom, data miners found that they are still working on new Fantastic Four skins that may be tying in to the Fort Nightmares event or just regular skins that we're able to earn a part of this new update. Get lasered get lasered. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it. If this update is when Dr. Doom finally arrives to Fortnite's island and the massive war against him officially starts, it would make sense for Fantastic Four or different versions of them to come to the island and help us in this big battle. Even if they are dead in this reality, with Fortnite having infinite realities and loops and time jumps, they could get Fantastic Four from different realities and still give us cosmetics, which I think would be really, really cool. I hear you down here. You're not being sneaky. Oh, you want to go hide in the bush, huh? Well, it's working because I don't see him anymore. Oh, he's running. Why are you running? Oh, that's why he's running because the zone. Oh, gosh. This is bad. We're going to get out of here. There we go. That was a little close for comfort. All right. And it looks like the last guy died to zone. He must have not been paying attention like me. That is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you guys are hyped for the upcoming live event, Dr. Doom's arrival, and the overall new Fortnite update, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.